Hello everybody, this is Dragonzilla1991 and for today slash tonight, depending on what time it is when you are watching this video, I will be talking about the most iconic predator of the Ice Age, that being Smilodon, better known as the Sabertoothed Cat. And it's about time that we talked about the famous Knife Tooth in the series. Well we have technically yes, but that was a miniature from the Collector Mini Prehistoric Animals Tube coming in at this number. Links in the description below if you wish to check that video out. However, this will be the first time that we talk about a large Sabertooth figure. Well, at least two of these big cats. One is from Collector and the other Papo. Now we all know the evolution and history of these extinct felines, but here's a quick rundown. Smilodon first evolved two million years ago and were the top predators of the Americas during the Pleistocene Epoch, but went extinct 10,000 years ago. They also used to be known as Sabertooth Tigers, even though that we now know that they were not tigers at all, but rather a group of extinct cats known as the Musculates. Well, at least I think that's what they were called. I meant to look it up, but I forgot. But I know it begins with them. If I'm correct or incorrect, then please just let me know in the comments. First up is the Collector Deluxe Smilodon, which was originally released all the way back in 2015, but has sadly now been discontinued. This is the largest Sabertooth cat model that I have in the collection, and because he's so big, I like to believe that this is the larger member of the species, Smilodon Populator, which was native to South America. So it's basically the cat that we see in Walker with Beast Episode 5 Sabertooth, but more scientifically accurate. As we can see, he is roaring and exposing his saber teeth, as many other Smilodon figures are often shown in this pose, because that's what makes them so iconic. And it's the first thing that will come to mind as soon as you think of these Ice Age carnivores. Now when it comes to the colour scheme, to my knowledge, there's no hard clear evidence to suggest whether or not Smilodon had patterns on their coats, and so model making companies will often get very creative and will either give them patterns or stripes. Collector have painted a spotty pattern on their Smilodon Populator, which I think looks nice. This isn't Collector's first attempt at the Sabertooth Cat, as they did one many years ago all the way back in 2009. However, that one too has also kicked the bucket. And by kicked the bucket, I mean discontinued. And speaking of which, it is a real shame that the new cat has also been retired as well, because I do honestly think that this has got to be one of Collector's best figures. Well, at least I think the model has been discontinued. Overall, this is a great figure, and he will also make a very good leader of the pride. Now we are on to the Papal Sabertooth Cat, which was their second Pleistocene animal. The first being, of course, the Woolly Mammoth. And speaking of which, I actually bought this girl on the same day that I got the Woolly Mammoth and Stegosaurus. I say that this is a female, because unlike the Collector Spilodon, where we can tell that's a male, but with Papos, it's not really clear and I guess that it's up to you, so I like to think that it's a she. And since the larger collector model is based on Smilodon Populator, this one I assume is based off the North American species, Smilodon Fatalis. The collector cat had a spotty pattern, but this cat doesn't possess any spots or stripes, and wears a clear coat as seen on lions. I also like the ribs at the side as well. She is roaring too, however, judging by her pose, she appears to be either stalking down prey, or perhaps maybe, she is battling a rival or another animal. What I love about this figure would be the mouth, as it's nice and glossy, giving a realistic feel. Despite Collector's Sabertooth being the most accurate looking cat, I believe that this has got to be my favourite Smilodon figure period. I do prefer this girl over Papo's other Sabertooth cat, which is the Roaring Smilodon, to which admittedly I do own in the collection. But I do plan to talk about him someday. Also, this is so far, and at the time I'm making this video, the only American Ice Age animal that Papo have ever made, as they tend to stick with European species. And the only other Xenozoic creature that they've done a figure of was the giant shark Megalodon. Will they ever make models of other American megafauna, such as Megatherium, the Direwolf, the Mastodon, or Glyptodonts? etc and so on, or even more species from the Cenozoic, not counting modern day animals. I guess for that one, only time will tell. Now for major appearances, again, like with the Woolly Mammoth, Smilodon has had a hell of a lot of appearances, ranging from movies, TV shows, documentaries, video games, car books, novels, etc and so on, you know the drill. Dino Guy did a video, links in the description below. But if you want to know what my personal favourites are, well for my top 5, those would naturally be Walk with Beasts Episode 5, Sabertooth, 
Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger, Primeval, Wild New World, and of course, not to mention, this guy. Now for size comparisons. So here are the two saber tubes with the Papo Woolly Mammoth that I reviewed yesterday. Links in the description below if you wish to check that video out. Here is the King and Queen of the Ice Age with the Sapphire Limited American Mastodon that's also been covered before. Links below. This is what they look like with the Mojo Woolly Rhinoceros who's also been reviewed. Again, link below. Here they are with the Collector Kelliken and the Collector Deluxe Deed Curus. So final thoughts on the Collector of Papo Smilodons. Yes, both of these models are great and will be perfect if you're a huge fan slash enthusiast on Sabertooth cats like I am. You'll be more lucky on finding the Papo figure and the price for the collector model appears to be low for the moment, but since it's been discontinued, it'll probably skyrocket over time. Also, before I go, I'd like to give a special shout out to the Roaring Smilodon, as he's very knowledgeable on not just Sabertooth cats, but Ice Age animals and other Xenozoic beasts in general. He does great work on his reviews and a fantastic job on his many videos. So I think everybody should go and check out the Ron Smilodon's channel because I think he really would appreciate it. This is Dragonzilla1991 signing out. Take care, thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.